Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCI Last Alliance campaign and I'd just like to have a, we'll give a shout out to Yalo or, oh, wait no, it's Lalo isn't it? Lalo Arias Kevin and Gaming Tremor for the, you know, thanks for sticking with it. The previous <laughs> video, I was very much on the fence about whether or not to upload it because uh, I was in such a bad mood but I was like, you know what? We're almost there. We're almost there. And uh, we are almost there. We've got the Tolokan up and running. We've got Glorfindel over here. He's on his way. Yes, my and lord. actually, my lord. I think will, my lord. Um, I think we might just will, drop out the Ballista. Now, we've just brought in the Roquen. So next turn, we'll be able to move a bit further. Now, I don't want to move him now. Um, because they're already in the army, and I don't know quite how the desertion mechanic works, so I don't want to risk losing them, but the ballista is going to slow us down a lot. We want to make sure we get down here as soon as possible to the plains of Gorgoroth. Um, although, you know, the Numenorians may help us, the Sylvan Elves of Lothlorien may help us, and indeed of Erun Garland. So... That's cool. And Elrond is very far away. And he doesn't really have a force that could come down here. Uh, we've got no money. But... And he's making a lot of money in there. And also, it's about to grow. And he's the only thing that's giving it population growth. So, I think I'm just going to keep him in there. And we may or may not just teleport him um, down here into the south. Because it would be fitting to have him around. And also, sadly, we can't train any assassins or anything like that as the elves. So that's not something we can do. And we've got um, Your orders, we've got some forces here that are about to take out the men of the mountains, hopefully, as well. So let's move on then, shall we? And hopefully this all goes well. Oh, hello. Harad are still bothering us with these naval invasions. And what do we have in there? Well, we are <laughs> we are heavily outnumbered. And they've got, by the looks of it, only two units of these mariners. So that is a that is a Brucey bonus, as we might say. Um, the rest of these aren't all that good. And they have obviously got the catapult as well. I think we'll be... Uh, oh, well, we could lose. We could definitely lose. Oh, and he's the uh, faction heir. Attack! As ever with these naval invasion battles, they knock a hole through the wall and um, yeah, they expend their ammunition on there, but actually by the looks of it, they have come out as a bit early, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to have those guys over there, we're going to have our archers placed like so to shoot over there, and I, I think actually, let's Let's pop our general there. I think our general is going to hold that side. Let's slow this down a bit. And... Ooh. Right, go in over there. And you... Right, so we've got these guys in reserve over here, kind of. Right, throw your javelins in over there. Throw them now, throw them now. Go, go, go. Hopefully these guys can... Yeah, and those mariners are just going to be there. By the looks of it. Hopefully they're not going to fire at our archers, because they are the key point here of our defense. And these guys should absolutely annihilate all of these with their two armor. They've got their backs turned to us. We've thrown all of our javelins in. Right. I think now... Uh, let's send these guys kind of over there. I'd quite like them to not kill my general. So who are we firing at? Right, shoot them. Shoot those fools over there. And... Yeah, we've kind of maybe ruined our arcs a little bit. Just go in there. Just go and fight them. That's... Just go to the... Uh, go towards the gate, if you may. Oh my word. They just absolutely annihilated some of their own men there. Well, we're playing a dangerous game here, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this uh, we we should probably keep an eye on that. Really, I don't really want to move them over here though, because currently, who are they firing at? They're firing at the mariners. 
And that's a good target because they're doing those arcing shots. They're not going to get any kills. Whereas our archers are slamming their infantry. Um, like so. They're probably going to start shooting at our archers at some point. We're about to finish off these spears. And then when we do... Oh, that sounded pretty bad. It sounded really bad. Okay, let's let's bring the mariners out of there. I'm going to leave the bodyguard there for now. Which may be a bad idea. In fact, just come on over here. Please don't hit. You're going to come over here and perhaps those mariners will actually come within the walls of our settlement. And they have. We've got some mariners just here now. Uh, the others are over there. Still kind of firing at us, but not really. We've got plenty of ammunition. But they do have those shields. And quite a lot of armor. So I don't know how effective this really is. And our general's about to break through over there. Hopefully those guys... Who are they firing at? They're still firing over there. I think that catapult is maybe out of ammunition. So we can send these folks around the back there to engage those mariners as well. Our general's having a bit of, bit of bother against these guys, I think. So let's send in the mariners there. They're slightly fresher. And our archers have done pretty, pretty well against all these folks over here. So I think if we could just pop them over here... If that is possible, then we should be able to get some good shots in through that gap. I don't think the tree is going to block him. So, right. Shoot. Let's see how this goes. I mean, it's reasonable. I, I'm definitely seeing a few go down. We've got more than enough ammunition there to deal with this. Where are all the rest of these mariners? Oh, there's still 25. They've got to come in eventually, so... Although there are a lot of them. So a change of plans. We've brought the archers around over here. The catapult is doing nothing. So we can now just shoot these guys willy-nilly right into the back. They've got no shield. And this should provide us with the victory. Oh, they did the cunning move where they turn around and shoot at us. And they've just annihilated so many of our archers. Right, but now they are coming into the settlement. Everybody pile on in. And our archers... Um, it looks like they're just going straight for the town square. So we'll send them over there and then they can shoot the stragglers. Or the forerunners, the vanguard. We've killed the general... Are these guys then going to run away? They're shaken. And we're just shooting these guys. Yeah, they've just pushed straight through our line over there. And, uh... Oh, now they're kind of fighting, but not really. And now they're routing. Okay. And everyone else, just go and kill off that catapult, and we'll be done here. I think that's probably enough. We lost a lot of men. <laughs> About 46%, I'd almost say. But yeah, Lindar Archer's 376 kills. We're not going to bother with any history guilds or none of that. Because they're rubbish. End of turn report. We are actually making money now that we've got that Tola Khan army there for free. And the power is taken by everyone. Apart from the dwarves and the good folks of Ravanian, I suppose. Right. Yes, so... Lord. How long are you going to take to make it down? Your movement range is not that great. Yeah, the ballista has to go. How far does the cavalry go? How far does he... Oh, okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's just going to take us way too long with the ballista, I think. So, we're going to have to ditch it. Splitting our forces. Um, It's not the end of the world. It just means that we won't be able to... I mean, we may as well disband it, because it's going to happen. Unfortunate, really, but... It had to yes, be done. Lord. We can then recruit probably some units around here. Or certainly down here once we get to Minas Tirith. And look at that. At the Black Gate we've got Shagdush. This guy looks a bit like Bane from um, 
the Dark Knight uh, Batman film, Tom Hardy. Um, but other than that, I think we we may, because there's not a whole lot going on other than, you know, waiting for him oh, to make it down here to Mordor, and then we're going to hopefully be able to take uh, Barador over here and have a good battle against Sauron. So that first battle there up in Forland was kind of like a, uh, I don't know, a, a forerunner to the chief battle that we are going to have down um, kind of to finish the campaign, really, I'd imagine. So, if anything does happen in the meantime, then of course I will check in. But uh, for now, at least, um, let's skip through. So, a couple of turns later, here we are on the 168th turn. And I didn't realise there was actually an invasion in progress. So, I mean, Asenor has fallen. And Boys. that is an issue because we are currently. Oh using I Mornion over here, and he is on his way to the Black Gate because yes. we do not have a general over there. So he's going over there. And not only that, Glorfindel is meant to be orders, my lord. traversing the land to come in this direction as well. Right, but before we Honor. go on... Oh, look at this. So we've got a choice between Lothlorien volunteers. They are presumably... These are available to, or something like this is available if you play as Lothlorien yourself. And, I mean, they're not great. 9 attack, 11 defense. They're kind of like a strike infantry unit. Um, or how they fit into our roster. But these guys, Lothlorien and volunteers, 5 attack, 11 defense. Now, are they spearmen? Or are they... Oh, they are just spearmen. Well, uh, how many spearmen do we have? We've got one, two, three. We've got three. So let's maybe just get one of them. It's nice to have uh, some of them along for the ride as well. Yes, right, and uh, we'll carry on. If if we do come across again, um, something yes. a bit better we shall that we can tomorrow. get, then I'd definitely go for them. And look at this, Dwarven Volunteers. These guys are effective against armour. I mean, that is good. They'd be a good meat shield, and we can just serve. They could serve as just dying on our front line, but um, they're not that much better anyway than those. And I'd rather have elves, to be honest. So, uh, Rune have gone to war with Harad, and Rune is no longer allied to Mordor. That's interesting as well. Um, right, well, we'll carry on. There's nothing, a whole lot happening. We've had... A couple, uh, this is now upgraded, uh, Berborg, that's now becoming a minor city, and we are currently still training units over here in Imladris, because you will always need more units. And then we are waiting on the Grey Mountains to exceed 14,000 before I can move um, our High King out of there. So, onwards and upwards. We have moved, actually, past Minas Menor, which is just there, and it is held by um, Mordor. But I'd imagine at some point it is going to be retaken by the Numenorans. But order, we, we just don't get very good uh, mercenaries here. Like, they're okay, but they're only good against the, the cavalry. So we're not going to go for them. And we've actually already got some of these commoner volunteer archers. Up from the north. We may... I don't know if there's going to be honor. anything different here. No. What's with the uh, relations worsened? Oh, right. Of course. Yes, my lord. So, Mordor yes. are actually amassing quite a few armies over here. Orders. Just in time for... Uh, wait, what? Owned by Ettenmores. So, oh, there we go. I, Morinion, has just made it in I'm there. So, that's definitely going to be very difficult if they do attack us. But I'd imagine I'm he'd be okay. Because, like, these guys, in general, aren't as good as our elites. Like, these guys are absolute beasts compared to, like, all of these. So, I think we'll be okay. And hopefully, well, Glorfindel hopefully will have enough in the tank then to go and take Gorgoroth. And if he doesn't, then we might have to send this guy to recruit all these mercenaries over here as well. 
to uh, overcome it. And we're just going to siege this out. We've got uh, Lothlorien kind of here helping, but not really. Um, so that's kind of... I was going to attack them. I've got some siege equipment now. Um, rather than yes. just the ballista, we've got a couple of... Um, Wait, hang on. What do we have? We've got two rams, two ladders. We may as well get a few more. Mainly just so that they can go in there and take it for us. Uh, essentially, so we can go and take Dunharrow, which is still recruiting units by Jove. And we have also built a lot of good stuff that is going to hopefully bring in some money um, in the future. Now, something that I have now just noticed, we Lord brought Glorifindel here. Now, we obviously hold the Black Gate, so we can freely move through here and there's nothing yeah that's just a watchtower there's nothing actually preventing us presumably of actually just marching straight uh, over the plains of Gorgoroth to Baradur but none of these other Tolokan armies can actually make it over there they're just bundled up here so now the other way in of course is like through here but then you've also got a bottleneck here of two uh, settlements here. I have actually, I do recall there is one here because I have toggled Fog of War back in the past uh, when we were over here. So, um, I can't remember if there's, there's not going to be Durthang there. So, uh, anyway, um, I think what I'm, what, um, what we could do is, obviously we are allied. So in the kind of essence of diplomacy, we'd open the gates to them, allow them to pass. Um, so I don't know if like me, I'll just next turn, I can pop one there. So Egalmoth, he's going to spend one turn there deliberating and moving his way through the gate. Then he's going to go there and yes, my lord. Yeah. Something like that. And maybe Brandir is going to take a few turns extra, but we are also going to have to clear out some of these armies. So we could go in there like so and we'd be up against orc cleavers we've got some mountain trolls and warg riders and what does shag dush have he's just got a lot of orc band a lot of orc band but uh oh they got gorgoroth archers that's quite interesting six missile attack not very good at getting shot at but i think we should fight this battle and that will give us you know, that space that we require. So, in we go. I shall lead our forces into battle. We will go with this kind of formation. We've kind of got the hill. The enemy have brought and more men. we've got our ballista, hopefully, just have them fire at will in the hopes of they are coming towards us. Right, well, shoot at the mountain trolls with all that dust. It's absolutely killing my FPS. Right, if we could just get a few shots in there, and uh, are these all... Ah, oh, something that we probably should do then is move forward. So, uh, deselect you guys, and then we're going to move forward, because otherwise our archers aren't going to do a thing. So, if you'd like to all actually move to about there, and whatever you're doing, now just stop so you don't skewer any of our men I think we may have got oh Jesus holy moly there's 11 trolls there so I don't know if that's uh, if that's progress but maybe it is so carry on now firing at the mounted trolls are, are they even firing at us they are okay um, the main thing being, of course, that now we've got somewhere decent to stand. Over here. Oh, they're shooting at our light troops there. Are they just going to park themselves there? I don't really know. Um, well, let's pop these guys there, and then we're going to start firing at them. Do we have cavalry? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. So, you also, you definitely need to conserve your ammunition. Now, it is definitely in our interest as well, just to maybe go into melee as soon as possible. But, we should be able to massacre these archers with our archers. 
And that would be a much better bet, I think. So let's bring you guys over here as well. We've got the swordsmen on the flanks, if needed. Probably should have put more units over here, really, be considering how this all looks. Um, right, you shoot there. You're still firing at them. There's nine trolls left at the current point. Good shots over here. And right, in we go. Um, uh, yeah, this is quite ugly. I can't get very... Oh, there we go. That's With all these dust clouds, it's... Uh, it's my my like PC this, is not enjoying. My laptop you. is not enjoying this battle. Um, what are the stats on these orc battalions? Okay, they're reasonably good. Reasonably. And the trolls are on the move. The trolls are on the move. That's not good. And what are those? Oh, God. They're trolls as well. Um, hmm. These uh, swordsmen over here are probably going to get annihilated. And that's going to be unfortunate. Right. Just shoot the bodyguard. And got some orc band there. They're probably going to be okay over there. So they're charging. We'll leave that unit of spears over here. You're coming over here. Oh, those Sindar swords are up against the mountain trolls now. It's not great. I think these swords, or these spears rather, we're going to bring them over here. They're going to be needed. And this is probably going to hurt. So, men, do your best. Ouch. So, that's going to be a difficult location to do anything. And they've got more archers, more orc cleavers. Right, okay, so you, you're not even firing. And you're not firing either. Did you finish killing whatever you were meant to be killing? Oh, they got warg riders over there. Shoot them. Because they're going to do a lot of damage. You men, hurry up over here. You're going to hopefully solve that problem for us. And you charge the bodyguard. You stop what you're doing. That... Oh my word. This is awful. Right. Ballista crew, just like come over here because you're not really going to be all that useful. And you shoot the orc cleavers. You shoot the orc cleavers. And you kind of shoot over there, those orc cleavers. How are we doing over here? The smiths, they can handle all of that. I think now we're going to send in these swords over there. And they're going to try and take out everything over there. Perhaps if we just use. Our archer cav to take those out. Uh, you still, you should still be shooting, I think, at those orc archers. It's very difficult to see anything with the uh, this. Right, you guys come over here. Oh, actually, what? There's only four trolls left. Kill them. Kill them now. Right. This actually is looking pretty promising. If I could actually see, we've got. Well, that's a bit better. I can see a bit better now. I think we're going to... Rather than go for the archers with these guys, we're just going to... Aim... For the infantry over here. Go for the orc battalion. What was that? Was there a battalion of the eye or something there? No. Or maybe I just missaw it. Oh my word. <laughs> just, I can't get close to the fighting. Um, right, so... 31 there. They're almost dead. Oh, those Wag Riders are coming. We'll be sure to fire at them with those, I think. Bring the Smiths round over here. I think those Horse Archers will probably be able to handle them before anything happens. The Trolls are almost out. We've got bata an Orc Battalion there. Come round like so. Oh, and we've been... Oh, this isn't good. Uh, General, come over here. We'll bring these guys around like so. So that they can shoot them in the rear. I don't know, maybe you just shoot on over there. Did we kill the wild Riders? Yes, we did. 
we're currently in the process of demolishing their front line as well. So that's nice. And the Smiths then come around here. We can maybe use you over there. You keep shooting over there. And General attack there. And Lindar archers come out of there. Now, if we could get some shots in just here as well, then it would be fantastic. Perhaps. You know. Well, we're fighting them now. Are we all going to shoot? Oh, yes, we are. Well, they won't be here for long, and we will need the cavalry, really, to then uh, chase all these off. Oh, so many corpses. I think maybe it is the corpses that is giving me the issues here. Um, if I just highlight all of my forces, uh, there's some orcs still fighting all along here. There's nothing over there. So these guys, if we just send them, I don't know, go and hit those Gorgoroth Battalion. Oh, they're actually pretty good. Um, yeah, so you guys fight them and you go over there as well. Oh, they're routing. Oh. Um, well, General, don't go after them. Just come on over... Who is still fighting? Just come and fight something. And whilst I struggle over here, we're going to have to try and use our cavalry to actually pick up all these units. And you just shoot them. And all of you just attack. Who's still fighting? Them. I'm going to try and get away from this area with my camera. There we go. Just need to make sure that we get the orders right. Well, I think the battle is basically won at this point. Everyone's basically already routing over here. And there we go. So I'm just going to round them up with the cab. That was a fantastic win. And we lost 304 men, but we did actually get Shagdush as well. So that, that you know, make we might have also wiped out that army. The confirmation then that we have executed and destroyed that army. I think one of them did make it away. One of the armies I did just see that want. So next turn, as I say, Your orders, my lord. I think we can then uh, safely just uh, pop Egalmoth over the Black Cakes. They're not going to ever make it like no around there. I feel like that's a bit I of a silly move. Uh, really, seeing as, you know, they are our best buddies and best allies. So they we'll let them pass. And we've even got even more uh, generals coming from over the mountains over over here, from Arnor. So we've moved Egalmoth over the Black Gate. And obviously there is now Uzu the Dark Diviner. And I think this could be the first time we've come across a Nazgul um, yes, in this Lord. campaign. Oh, Glorfindel can't make it past that. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, I think we'll be Brandir as well uh, over the gate so Glorfindel can make it as well. But shall we also fight um, against this Nazgul? I think that would be quite interesting. Oh, there's two. Core the Bane of Golog. I wonder if there's some kind of biography here. No. No, there is not. Um, interesting. There's nothing else there. Right. Uh, and who's the other one? Uzu the Dark Diviner. Should we just have a look if he's got some kind of... Oh, no, wait. Um, no. They do have this ability to lower enemy morale. I don't know if the AI particularly uses them. Well, they've got hill trolls, and they look like they're a lot better than the other troll variants. But they've still got um, a bit of an aversion for just getting shot in the face by a baluster bolt. So, um, And then they'll have some Zigarun masters, which all of the Nazgul have. And they're just dark Numenorians, essentially. Um, and the rest of this, we've already seen. Show no mercy! Same as last time, we're going to pick a nice spot here and Ballista to shoot the trolls. And hopefully this time, we're not going to lose so many frames because there's not quite as many... I think it's the dust particles that is killing the frames. So, right, how many did they have? They've got um, 11, wasn't it? Are we actually firing those ballistas? 
Well, we've definitely stoked their ire now. So infantry move forward, ballast to stop firing, and horse archers as well. So we're going to move the ballast uh, back over here. And now then... Oh, we're not in a good spot really there. We need to move a bit down the hill. And I think these guys are in an okay position. So, yeah, shoot shoot them. Uh, what are these Zigarun Guardians? Are they different? 1427. Oh. They... <coughs> they got a slightly different name. They got... Sorry, I just sneezed. Right, um, we've got the... Um, the hill trolls over there. Up against those. Let's bring in the smiths. Because they're armor piercing. All of you just shoot. I'll tell you what. Everyone just shoot their archers. And we're going to go in against the orc cleavers over here. And we're going to wait a bit before we charge down the hill at those men. Because we need to keep that uh, height advantage for our archers really so you move on over there we'll bring in our general why not um specifically here the Sindar swordsman might end up losing there hopefully they don't but uh, it's a possibility uh and we've almost taken out all of those gorgoroth archers they're the ones with the six missile attack right you guys now fire at them and if you can fire into that that would be good and Smith, you're going to go and attack the trolls. And we'll bring... I mean, spears aren't the best at flanking, but they'll do the job today. And Zigarun Masters there. Ooh. That's... Uh, they're probably going to beat us there. But they'll take a while before they do that, giving us time for our swords to wrap around. And all of these units as well. Um, yeah, our centre is probably going to crumble. So let's bring in our general. He'll probably help us out a little bit. And we've almost defeated everything over here. Or shot everything, I suppose, is a better way of putting it. Let's bring the horse archers to there and just put them on fire at will. They can do whatever they want. I don't think we need to do anything to these orc cleavers. Let's just go and charge the masters. Because they are the main presence there. Oh, we've actually got two units here. Well, that's okay. It's not it's not it's not the most efficient way of using your units, but it'll do. Right, let's say or let's see rather this charge here. What is the charge bonus of these guys? Seven. With an 18 attack. These guys are beasts. They're not armor piercing though. But. Uh, should see a few go down regardless. I mean. Wow. Yeah. That was. That was over 10. Definitely over 10. And we've. Despite our Sindar getting. Trounced. <laughs> um, we have firmly won in the center. Right. Keep shooting over there. And we'll use the cab just to go around and defeat these guys. Are those trolls still going? Like this, How many of them, them are there? Three. Oh, that's not too bad. We'll get rid of them sooner or later. Two now. Excellent. So, keep on firing. Keep on firing. I must say, they do look very human, almost, these orc archers. They don't have quite the hunchbacks that they have in in, like, Dak. Oh, and we've kind of lost over here. We've got Orc Cleavers and Zigurun Guardians. And... Right. Wait, is that the same unit? Oh, no, that's... That's the Masters, that's the Guardians. And what's this one? Oh, they're kind of split between the two. Right, so if you guys would just like to turn around and kill them, and you just keep on attacking them, I think that would be okay. We are definitely losing a lot of men, though. And we might yet need these troops against the forces of Sauron to make sure that we get 
Barador. And they're making a break for it by the looks of it. Um, well, they're not going to... Well, I mean, where are they going to go anyway? So it doesn't really matter. But if you would like to just chase them, I don't think they're actually going to be going for a tactical retreat or anything like that. We'll move these guys around the back, shoot these in the rear. So we are definitely losing a lot of these volunteer spearmen to these cleavers, which, you know, they've been deployed quite well and we've just kind of gone a bit laissez-faire with that all. Um, but if we're lucky, there might be a Nazgul here. I can't quite see. A lot of these... These helmets almost look obviously a bit like Sauron's helmet. But also with the pointiness of them, it kind of makes me think of like the Ku Klux... Oh, sorry, the Ku Klux Klan. Um, I always get the L's in the wrong spots. But, yeah. We're just waiting on these Zugarun units to run away or die, one of the two. So we're just giving them a... Helpful charge in the back, and there we go. Strong win there, strong win, and we also took out both of the Nazgul. And the most kills, one eight, is that an eight? That's an eight. One eight five to Noldor Archers, Eldar Horse Archers, one eight one. And we'll kill them all, and that is two, three armies, I think. Or four, wait, yeah, three armies that we've actually taken Lord, out now Lord. um we will have to move well let's move brandir across as well so show cursor stat pop him there and uh move Carrick. now hopefully this actually works because there's probably a lot of brandirs is that just a normal eye it does look like it so this might not work hopefully it does um two seven five one four eight there we go excellent right and uh glorfindel oh he can actually move all the way to there so let's yes. pop a watch oh okay so there's it's camp more guy there the there's very little in that we don't have any siege equipment here um but there is Barador. There's a very large army there. And I'd imagine there's going to be a very... Uh, well, judging by the amount of armies that we've already come across, we might have already kind of broken through. But I have no idea what awaits us. We've got no spies. Uh, we shall just have to wait and see. Now, hopefully Lothlorien actually come honor, with some better ally. army. Because that is a feeble, feeble Tolokan army. I can't allow them to pass. Next turn then we've um i mean i've already spent all of our money we had a couple of towns grow but yes, um just for context we're going to skip by oh, camp no. Morgai. oh and there's eyes and mouth and then we've got brandir yes. there and there is barador the tolokan target and judging like you know we've already seen what that army could do against mordor like thrice over and still be a pretty effective fighting force even now. Obviously, the Sindai units have heavily suffered, but everything else is pretty okay. Your orders, um, Lord. I think this is going to be quite, quite okay. Now, um, we're going to, of course, With honor, we're going to be the one to besiege it. And in there, we have Sauron, the Dark Lord. Uh, Gorthaur. He's got a lot of different names. And he comes with Bulldog Wardens. 16 attack, 34 defense with 2 hit points. They are slightly better than the Bulldogs that the Hillmen of the North had. I think they were just called Bulldogs. Oh, not the... Oh, I think the Hillmen did have them as well. But the Orcs of the Misty Mountains had them. and I, But I believe their defense was like 10 less than that, at least. Um, similar attack, but they've got much more armor. I think the other ones had like 10 armor, now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe, I don't know. Um, so what else? Orc Battalion, Mountain Troll, Zigarun Masters. We can't see the stats, but we can kind of remember what they were. They're just very good. And the Mountain Trolls, not quite as good as the Hill Trolls. What are these? Orc Drivers. Oh, they're like their, um morale boosting units and Gorgoroth but 
tally, and I think they were like 12 and 16 or something. So, Your attention um, is an honor, well, Noble yeah, I'd, I'd imagine we'll need yes. some kind of siege equipment to get in we there. So let's engage. pop in, I don't know, two two rams. I don't know if it's going, what kind of battle map it's going to be, whether or not it's going to be, you know, um, a custom battle map or not. But we'll get, wait, if we get two towers like that, yeah, uh, that might be okay. So you want maybe a siege tower just or two, just in case, because they definitely do take the walls better if you've got siege tower. Right, yes. but we'll go with that. And I should probably have built an artist studio here, but I've already spent all the money. And uh, we've got one more turn until all of this mess over here Lord. is done for. So, um, we have triumphed. Wait, if I attack that now, that's probably going to put me into a battle. Um, oh, yikes. Well, maybe the forces of Lothlorien will help us out. Fingers crossed. Um, and we'll just end the turn. It looks like they have come. And um, I think we can even just auto-resolve this. We've got a very helpful... Army of 1,800 or 7, 1,733 men, sorry, from Captain Lathron. And yeah, we took a few losses, but that's fine. And execute. And we should have Terithanodlo then. Victory! Victory! The Sauron uses others as his weapons, as do all great lords, if they are wise. Oh, that's something that Denethor said. Um, it is in the face of great triumph or true need that he will lead the fortress, and yeah, now he has. The alliance suffer forebodings, and his followers boost, because Sauron in person marches to put middle Earth under his steel boot. Right, well, he is actually... Wait, first there is a noise like a hurricane coming from the north, and then trees are creaking and cracking in the wind. Um, and... Who knows when or even where he will decide to... Oh, that's annoying. Location. There will be no more. It is up to you to watch for the shadow and prepare. What does that mean? Well, he's over Mount Gundabad, so yes, I guess we're Lord. just going to My Lord. get out of there. Yeah, we can actually hold uh, public order like that. We'll just go into that fort. Now, we do have... Forces on the way back to Imladris because they're getting retrained. Uh, I sent them packing from uh, from Elrond's force over here to get them retrained, and then maybe we could do something else with them. Um, but I don't know if like they're going to destroy everything here. We might even have to fight an army. I mean, Arnor will, or the Numenorians will probably end up taking it, if that is the case. Or they'll retake it since they border. Then that's a bit of a pain, because Gundabad has actually made us a lot of money over the course of however many terms we've had, we have had it. Oh, and then over here in Mordor, we've now actually got uh, Mount Doom Orodrin, uh spewing off some uh, fumes over here. That's quite something. Um, right, so... We're going to have a bit of help here today, but... Uh... Oh, finally, there we go. It just froze for absolutely ages trying to uh, bring this up. So, we've got mountain... Oh, they are mountain trolls. Oh, no, I already knew that. Right, so... <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, they're pretty decent, and Sauron, yeah, he comes with the Bulldog Wardens, no changes there. And Sigurd Masters. This is, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that it's not just a generic thing from, like, Med 2, where you've got just wooden walls and whatnot. But we shall have to see. Um, right, in we go. Oh, we should probably turn off the battle time limit. So hang on, let's let's do that. I can't remember quite how that's done. Game options, um, no campaign battle time limit. Yeah, 
Let's go with that. We don't want it to time out or anything like that. Here we are then, at last, at Barad Dur. And I'm kind of uh, quite happy that it is this battle map, because otherwise this would be very, very dodgy. Um, so, uh, ooh, we've got our allies that are formed up over here. I mean, ooh, King's Archers. Are those, uh, they are steel bows, of course. They're probably armor-piercing then as well, maybe. I don't know. Um, if they are, then that makes them hellishly overpowered. But we're going to slide on in there and take out the gate first. We have sent a lone unit of Noldor spearmen to batter down the gate. And we may... Hang on, make sure you... I mean, that's kind of in the way there still. So if you could just pick it up. And move it, like, over there. And we've popped our allies on active stance. And when I said active stance, I meant aggressive. Uh, and that is the active stance. Right, so we're going to go in with our Sindar swords that we brought over here. Because, of course, we are going to try and do, like, most of the heavy lifting. It's just nice to have the backup, isn't it? So, they're going to be thrown in first today. We've got no Noldor swordsmen, which today. have proved the their worth uh, several times, being very, very good indeed. And, uh, oh, we've also got these guys, these uh, Lorinand volunteers, looking very snazzy and green, uh, or grey. But uh, we'll make sure to get them involved as well. We've got this one unit of Sindar swordsmen holding back, like, a real swarm of orcs over here at the door. Or at the gate, rather. Our allies are on the way. Um, they'll shortly be crossing over the bridge. They're actually pushing us back here. Um, that's not very good. But then, the way to the town square, I believe, you can go either that way or um, up here. Like and then there's a little narrow opening through there and then this is the town square up here and then there's another even narrower entrance through there now there isn't an opening through here however you can flank around uh, come up this ramp uh, to then move into this central plaza before moving into the town square proper so this is going to be a real slug fest and hopefully the frames do get better as more and more of these orcs and elves and men die here today. We've killed uh, quite a number of these men, uh, or these orcs rather, 6%, and the Arnorians, or the Numenorians, sorry, they are just waddling in now over the bridge whilst we've been trying to get through this gate. And this is exactly why I turned off the battle time limit also because the last time i fought it in divide and conquer we got foiled by a lone orc that managed to survive and we yeah and then the battle time limit um, ran out so that was a bit of an oof um but yeah i think are they just going to pile through here like this, we will smash the enemy. it does look like they're going to and the rest of mordor's forces are over there um, let's have a look at if we can find Sauron here somewhere. Um, where is he? Well, that was probably him talking just then. Are these the Bulldogs? No. Oh, we found him. There's Sauron. Just, just right there. He's not super, super big or anything like that. But these are his Bulldogs uh, gathered here with these very nice looking shields and whatnot. Um, what's going on at the door? Oh my word, this is probably why I've got no frames. But we'll soon take it, we'll soon take it. We have now won the battle at the gate. Um, and the frames are getting a bit easier. <laughs> um, there's 59 Sindar swords have done very well. I'd imagine they've got a lot of kills. But here is Sauron actually, he's come down the ramp. But I think think literally the entire stack of Numenorians are all on the bridge about to come over so if we want to take part then we need to get over here the archers aren't going to be very useful but um, 
everything else can probably just uh, waddle on in. Bring you guys in. Um, like so. Um, and yeah, the archers, they don't need to come in. But everyone else can. In an effort to, you know, have some slightly better frame rates, I have slowed this down to 0.3%. And uh, you can see that the Numenorians are basically all just coming up this central ramp here. This is Town Square. And barely coming from over here. Although they are starting to filter this way too. And... Uh, Currently, 23% of the enemy has been killed. We've barely even taken part because I can't... <laughs> I can't really see anything happening with all this dodginess. So, um, whilst we've got a moment of quiet... Uh, oh, jeez. Pathbinding in these kinds of locate. Right, you just come over here. Hopefully, you don't go the central route. Okay, just come round like that and then... I don't know. Come and attack that. Oh, this is so annoying. Right, you go there as well. I don't want them to come that way because that would just be such a such a waste. So bring them over here and you guys just march over here. It doesn't really matter which way you go. Um, but yeah, this is taking absolutely ages because uh, <laughs> uh, maybe having this many uh, armies involved was a bad idea. Um, so, but we are making good headway, regardless of the fact that I can't really show any of it. <laughs> now we're a bit further into the battle and I've had to slow it down again because otherwise this is unplayable. I've basically been just sat over over there with my archers doing nothing uh, because I just can't even view it because the frames are so bad. So we are slowly, we're actually getting kind of beaten over here by these mountain trolls and whatnot, and I think some of the Numenorians have fled. 23% um, of the allies have been killed, which doesn't look too good. <laughs> um, and 38% of the enemy. Of course, we're barely even taking part. But exactly as I did not hope is that because I didn't send everyone with the w checkpoint system around there, some of them that did then just come up the central path and uh, attack there. But we are slowly whittling away at the enemy and um, yeah, archers just aren't going to be doing anything at all. Uh, what do we have still in reserve? Well, we've got we've got all, all of these and I suppose we can bring in the archers if need be but currently there's no way. There's, there's just no way. They've got nowhere to shoot other than maybe from over there but we need to win this fight over here before that is possible oh well we are definitely seeing improvements now in the frame rate uh, with enough enough of these uh, people killed so I mean we are definitely having like struggling on this flank to get rid of this Gorgoroth battalion 12 and 17 they're pretty good and they've got the hill advantage as well um, perhaps those guys just to stay back will keep them fresh and let's then bring, well, how many units of these? We've got two units. We can bring them over here. And uh, to be honest, I think we can probably just run them over. Um, they'll, they'll only be, you know, firing their bows. Uh, over here, um, I can't see what's really happening. Uh, we've got, um, oh, I'm going to have to slow this down because this is ridiculous. Uh, if we go to 0.3, that's seemingly worked quite well. We've basically made it all the way up the ramp, clearly. But even our smiths are, you know, losing massively. They're up against... They've got some Ziggurun dudes in here. And probably Sauron is still in there as well. Uh, I just can't see really a whole lot. <laughs> um, this battle is probably or is not one for viewing and having this many armies this many forces was definitely a mistake in an effort then to actually win on this flank to get our archers involved i've brought in our eldar mariners because they should be able to throw their javelins over the heads and might get a few kills maybe 
perhaps. Oh, I can't really fast forward. Although, I am definitely seeing an improvement in that. We've got orc drivers over here. Orc band. They're probably keeping the orcs fighting for a really long time. Although, you know, Sauron is here as well. Um, yeah, that didn't go quite as well. They killed about 30. And they are relatively fresh. I think... Can we flank them over here, maybe? I'm not sure if they are able to do that. If this is all open. Oh, okay. This this is open. In which case, we can probably bring in our archers as well. But we're just going to try first and maybe attack those guys first. And, well, now we've properly flanked these. That central ramp area over here which has just got so much lag that I can't really go over there that has not gone very well and I think pretty much well you can see there that they are at half stance uh, half stance half um, half strength and a lot of their forces have actually already routed so if I just come out of this you can see those blue arrows and several of them are running away but they do keep on coming back as well so that's kind of good Um. But it's totally pointless to send our men up there. I mean, the Smiths, they fought well. Very well indeed. Probably. I have no way of knowing. Oh, look at this. We can actually see see things happening now. Now that the frames have kind of gone uh, gone up. So that's good. And less less people fighting is always, is always jolly. But we just need to win over here. And then we can send in our our archers and we can shoot all the rest of these orcs is over there well I thought we were actually gonna win over on this flank but as you can see the bulldog wardens have come on over and uh, we can't shoot them in the rear because we can't move out over here this is all unpassable terrain so if we can just get a few shots in over there that would be good but I think we're gonna have to bring in we're gonna have to bring in those um, those smiths that we've got down there to maybe take on the bulldogs but if we could get a few shots in that would be good I don't know if we are actually firing but as soon as we get engaged in melee that's kind of that yeah okay just get out of there we can let these guys do the dying So the smiths are here they're gonna go and hopefully deal with these bulldogs now the best way to deal with them is probably just to shoot them but we can't get uh, around the back of them so this is the best that we've got um, in fact well these guys are the best that we've got they are exhausted though because you know permanent exhaustion going uphill is just a thing um, they can't really recover so hopefully they either pull back or get killed and then we can uh, realign our archers over here to finish this once and for all. The Bulldog Warden's down to 12 now. And Sauron himself is in and amongst it. The Smiths of Eregion have definitely proved to be the turning point there. Perhaps now we can actually get some shots in once again with our archers. And it's kind of hard to tell what's happening over here because we've got no units in here. And we've got no frames either. But. Uh, it looks like they are pretty much on their last legs. And you know the stats do back that up. There's only 10% left of them. And the one smith. That uh, had been fighting there this entire time. I pulled him back there. Because I don't want to see them <laughs> get killed. Um, completely. Uh, so. Uh, that's kind of that. Let's just shoot into the rear of the Zuggerun masters I guess doesn't really matter if we get friendly fire at this point either because I mean we're the ones that are going to be taking the city or the citadel whatever it is fortress maybe and oh and also we did actually lose Brandir which I think is maybe this guy but down goes Sauron down to a smith of a region and that was for Kele, um, Celebrimbor but uh, we have now fully won over on this flank. So we can... Well, how about you just kind of go 
forward like to there. Uh, like so. And then we've got some room to bring these guys in somewhere. Well, not really. Because you can't pop them over here. And then they'll just obstruct one another. So just keep on firing. And uh, keep on firing. The sheer volume of corpses over here in this town square is absolutely outrageous. And it, I can't... I can't look in over there at all. So we're looking over here. We're just shooting still with our archers over there. There's six men there left. Um, maybe just shoot them. And we can just send these guys in, I think. Um, there's very, very little left. 99% of the enemy left. So we're going to send in the Sindar swords to finish it off. And uh, hopefully we don't get too much friendly fire from our bros that are down there. But I don't think that really matters anymore. This is a resounding victory. And the smiths go in against this lone orc. Are we going to catch him? There we go. Down he goes. And oh, there's still, there's still this one over here. Get him. Go, go, go. We despise the orcs with everything that we've got. Oh, but the Otar, Otar swordsman got him. And, oh, I'm going to have to look over here now. Uh, <laughs> I can't see anything over here. Oh, I just clicked on something. This is a oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That was, su it's, that was such an awful battle. And I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be really quite a good watch. Actually, the non-custom battle map variant probably would have been better because um, <laughs> these aren't really made. They really stretch the limits of the game and it just really struggles. But if we look at the stats then, we obviously didn't do a whole lot. But we still got almost as many kills as Egalmoth, who lost like three times as many men. <laughs> so uh, they've been crippled, but we did well. And more importantly, Sauron has been destroyed. Smiths of Eregion, 155. Sindar Swords, they were the ones at the gate, 302. And uh, did anyone else get any kills? Oh, those archers got 128. Down he goes, and the Lord of Mordor is dead. Sauron is no more. Oh, it's uh, interesting. And uh, there we've got it. And uh, we're going to exterminate. And, well, we got two grand from it. And what else? I, I feel like that is a good point. I mean, it's a good point to end the campaign. Because, like, of course... If we look at our victory conditions, we've got hold 35 regions, we've got 39. Um, we've got all of these ones that are being spoken of here. Uh, eliminate factions, uh, Orcs of the Misty Mountains, we did do that. Mordor, we didn't. But considering we've taken the Black Gate, Barador, like they've got like these minor places around here. And I think they've got one here. And... Um, if I recall rightly, there's one over here as well. Considering that we don't actually own that. Oh, maybe not. Um, but there's probably like a few more dotted around here or there. But like there's very little left. We've taken Sauron out. And we've uh, kind of, you know, we've we've won. Despite the fact that Gil-Galad did die to a dodgy, a dodgy orc assassin or something. I would have preferred if he'd have died maybe in the assault against Sauron, but um, we can't all have our uh, ideal wishes go through. So then, if you have made it this far, then very well done to you, because, uh, well, I mean, I've been recording for a very, um, very long time for this episode, <laughs> because it takes so very long. If I just have a look here, then, Living Factions, who's that? That's... Uh, the Numenorians are sky high in the overall ranking, militarily. Production-wise, we, we were up there territorially as well. Um, financially, we're also on the rise, probably just because of the 
Tala Khan and population as well. So let's just do a toggle fog of war as well for the end. We can see that we absolutely won in the north. And that was, I mean, this has gone rebel because it's a village. So you can never build up the culture. So that's kind of understandable. The dwarves didn't really do a whole lot. They kind of held Erebor, Dalathiles, and uh, Wormvale up in the Withered Heath. And the Easterlings of Rune, they did hold on to a couple of regions out here. But the Princes of Ravanion, well, they were venturing down into Cand as well. Um, bringing war to the, uh, the Haradrim. And then if we do look at Mordor then, oh, look at that. They've actually got Erungallan right there. Thranduil the Just and Glendalgion the Mean. They'd clearly come from um, all the way around there. That's quite interesting. I didn't know that they were even on the uh, Talakan. Or oh, I'd just forgotten. Yes, but there is a little place there. And uh, Nargroth and uh, Nurnan. Uh, Lugimbat and Kirith Duath as well. And that is also on the way out. Um, of course, there's Minas Nor, but... I mean, it's surrounded by Numenorians. They'd have gone down eventually. Although, Harad, they did give them a bit of a run for the money. Um, taking a couple of regions here or there. And, of course, Atheland still held by Lothlorien. These regions over here, they've clearly gone rebel just because of um, culture. Yeah, and they're still villagers. They're very, very useless. Uh, but there's a couple more regions down here. And perhaps... Um, Ooh, Mama Kill. This allows some scope then, perhaps for future campaigns. But in regards to uh, this Tuesday slot, if you like to call it that, uh, where th there's not going to be another DCI Last Alliance campaign, at least for the present, because uh, this this one has certainly burnt me out. Of course, it is a beta, uh, beta, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's just a few minor issues with it. And those are notably just all those crashes that occur with that just occur randomly. Not just the ones with spiders, not just the ones with um, ants, um, which apparently that is another thing. Uh, but I, I seemingly have had them just from javelins being thrown at targets like with the men of the mountains over here in the previous episode no idea what actually caused it and it didn't it wasn't a problem before but these things just happened so uh i don't i'm not a coder i don't know what that could have been all i know is that with divide and conquer i don't have crashes like that the only crash that i might get in that is sometimes it's to do with the garrison script where um, uh, an AI faction attacks another one that gets a garrison and then that garrison either all die or don't die. And, well, it's something to do with the, you know, if they win the battle, there might be a crash in that. But that's, like, very, very minor and hardly ever occurs. And it's very easy to solve. So um, I think the team have done very well with this campaign and I love the setting. And I love the uh, unique faction mechanics that uh, certainly the uh, Elves of Linden had. I really enjoyed playing as them. And it's just those minor things that they need to brush up on. But for everyone else that ha has stuck up until the end, thank you very much. And you can still look forward to Divide and Conquer videos on this channel. As well as, uh, well, I'll be hopefully leveling up the kind of my own special blend of law videos in the future as well so one last time then thank you very much for watching i'm going with gandalf now good day